Hello, it's me. Obviously, I thought I would just record a pre-work video. I um, went running this morning. I ran three miles, and it took me a lot longer than it normally should have. But, you know, not bad, I guess. I haven't ran in ten days, so not too bad. But I wanted to show everyone this. It is raining. Raining in August. No, what am I saying, August? In July. Raining. It's so humid. I'm in California, and I feel like I should be in Texas. I, I don't understand. But, I don't know. I mean, we... San Diego is kind of a tropical desert, you know. It's either hot and humid or hot and dry. It just depends. But anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to point out. And, uh, you know, just that I went running this morning. Yay, me. Um, but, yeah, raining. Fun. Anyway, I got to go in. So, I will see you later. Bye. Hello. It's me. I'm back. Um, I uh, went running this morning. I think I mentioned that. I, I did an earlier video this morning. So, I went running. I ran three miles, finally went running, um, then I went to work and I found out that I got that position that I applied for, and I know you're probably thinking, why aren't you more excited about that? Hmm. Apparently it's a massive pay cut. Can't do it. Um, but I don't know, because the more I think about our mine and the manager's conversation, I keep coming back to where he said, oh, the caveat is that you can't do this, or, you know, so I don't know. I told him I wanted to accept the position, but you know, he's like, well, with a caveat of your salary. And I said, well, yeah, because I can't take a $6,400 a year pay cut. That's just insane. I calculated that out to like, it's like, oh, what was it? it I lose like $3 an hour. I can't do that. You know, and I, the sad thing is I really wanted this position. I thought it'd be really cool, but I thought they could meet my salary, even though it's a lower pay grade, because my rate of pay is not my rate of pay is higher than the high end of their uh, of their pay scale. It's not it's like in between the mid and the and the high, but he said it doesn't work that way. So I'm thinking to make, talk to HR. Maybe if I talk to HR cuz I think they're the ones who determine what the salary is. I don't think Mike does. You know, I mean in a lot of places the manager does, but with Geico it's a huge corporation, so I think HR does that. But I don't know. So I'm thinking about talking to um an HR rep and seeing the CSR HR rep and seeing if yeah, the claims, it was claims, she's for all of the claims, not just CSR, but, and seeing if I can find out, you know, can you tell me what I would start at? And if it's going to be $3 an hour or less than I already make, I'm going to have to say no. So I think I might go in early tomorrow, not early, early, but, or see if I can just meet with her at some point and talk to her and find out, you know, but what the deal is, you know, because I don't know what to do. I, I don't, I, I can't take a pay cut, but I don't want to go back to where I was. Oh, my sister's video just posted. Um, but I don't want to go back to where I was, you know, I, I had a rough time at that job before, you know, and it seems like it's even harder now, but I'm kind of stuck in the middle because if I, if I go in upstairs in shadow, you know, you sit with someone and watch what they do all day, then I'll miss the opportunity to take the class for the CSR, which I'll need if I don't take, but there, she's doing classes all week. So hopefully I'll be able to catch on or. I'll be able to do what I need to do. So I'm going to talk to HR tomorrow if I can. First of all, I'm in shadow for a little while. And then I'm going to see about and tell Mike I can't do it all day. I'm just going to do for a couple hours. And I'm going to go and take the CSR class. And then I just, I don't think I can accept the position. But I want to make sure with HR first. So I think what I'm going to do is go to HR and ask them, you know, what, at a grade 58, what would my starting pay be? Because I need to know before I accept the position. I can't go in blind not knowing what my, you know, not knowing what it'll be. I have to know. So, you know, I'm, if I can talk to her, the uh, CSR person, I think it's the same lady I work with for my um, FMLA, but if I can find out from her and if she tells me that it's what I make now or even close to what I make now, I mean, but I mean, she might tell me, well, this is what normally, but I don't know what it would be for you. You won't know until you get your first paycheck, which I think is ridiculous. Why are you not going to tell me until I get my first paycheck how much of a pay cut I'm going to take? I mean, don't you want people to be able to plan for how much? You know, I, I don't know. It's weird. He just said, he goes, well, you'll get, he's like, well, after that, not this pay period, the following pay period is when you'll get your first difference of pay. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> guys. I mean, I know it's a lower pay grade, but I've been there for 10 years, you know, and I just, I don't mind the lower pay grade part, but I can't go backwards when it comes to pay. I can't. I mean, I earned those merit raises and to have them taken away is like, I don't know. I just, I can't do it. I worked hard for those and I 
I deserve them and I don't want to lose them. And he said, well, you'll lose your merits. And I'm like, what? Why? It doesn't make sense. And I'm like, I swear, I mean, a company I work for, they can be really, some of the things that they do, some of the practices that they do is just really strange to me. But so I'm going to go to HR tomorrow and ask them, okay, look, I need to know what is going on here. You know, I need to know. And then maybe Wednesday or Thursday, I can give him a decision because I can just ask him straight out. You know, I wanted, and I told him, I said, I, I'm going to accept the position. And he said, well, with that caveat. I said, yeah, but with the caveat that if my pay isn't going to be what I want it to be, then I can't do it. And I think I have to talk to HR. I honestly don't think he makes that choice. I don't think the manager makes that choice. I think it's HR. And I think HR tells him, look, this is how much she's going to make. Because all of the, um, I'll have to go through HR. So I'm going to call, I'm going to go to HR tomorrow, see if I can talk to Mary Lou. That's her name. And find out if, um, what my rate of pay would be. And if she tells me it's going to be less than I make, I'm going to just tell Mike, you know, I talked to Mary Lou this morning. She told me about what my rate of pay would be. And I just explained that I, I can't do it, you know, so I can't, there's just no way. So I'll either go back to CSR and try to post out to a different position or, something. I don't know. I applied for underwriting too, so we'll see. I mean, I said you have to have a year of service experience, which I have. It's not recent, but I have one, so we'll see. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and um, <sighs> wish me luck in my pursuits. <laughs> Trying to find something to get me out of CSR. I don't want to be in CSR, but I don't want to take a pay cut either. I can't. I can't. Whether I wanted to or not, I can't. You know, my face looks crappy. But anyway, I'm going to sign off and I'll bring you the rest of their week.